Hello students, in this question paper, question number 66 is given that argument of z plus 1 is equal to pi by 4, argument of z minus 1 is equal to 3 pi by 4 and modulus of z equal to 1 and it is asked that our area bounded by these three curves is. Now, if we put z equal to x plus eta y, then this implies that tan inverse y upon x plus 1 is equal to pi by 4. It means this is equal to y is equal to x plus 1. And this represents, you know, equation of straight line. Second curve is given this. This implies that tan inverse y upon x minus 1 is equal to 3 pi by 4. If we put tan inverse here, so we will get equation y is equal to minus of x minus 1. It means y is equal to minus x plus 1, another equation of straight line. And modulus z equal to 1, this implies that x square plus y square is equal to 1. It means equation of circle whose center is origin and radius is 1. Now we draw the graph. Suppose this is the x y plane. And this is roughly a circle. This radius is 1. This radius is 1. This dimension is also 1. This dimension is also 1. Now, first y equal to x plus 1 is a straight line. If we draw this straight line, that is something like that. This is representing argument of z plus 1 is equal to pi by 4. Another straight line y equal to minus x plus 1, if we draw this straight line, that is something like that. And this is representing argument of z minus 1 is equal to 3 pi by 4. And x is a circle whose cent center is origin and radius is 1. Now, it is asked that the area bounded by this, this and this circle, it means we have to find this area. So we can say required area is equal to, if we mark these points A point, B point, C point and this is suppose D point. So we can say required area is equal to area of first of all triangle ABC. This is triangle ABC and plus area of semicircle this is the semicircle bcd now area of triangle abc that is half into its base is 1 plus 1 that is 2 height is 1 plus area of circle you know pi r square but area of semicircle that is half into pi into r square and its radius is 1 so, 1 square is 1. So, required area is 1 plus pi by 2. So, according to given options, option number 4 is correct. Area bounded by these curves is 1 plus pi by 2. Question number 67. It is given that modulus of z plus 3 is less than equal to 3. And it is asked that find minimum and maximum value of modulus of z plus 1. You know from the equation of circle, this equation, this inequality is representing equation of circle whose center is minus 3 comma 0. Its center is minus 3 comma 0 and radius is less than equal to 3. Now its maximum minimum value is asked if we draw its curve. This is first circle whose center is minus 3 comma 0 and radius is equal to 3. Now center minus 3 comma 0 approximately something somewhere here minus 3 comma 0 and radius is 3. It means this distance is 3. This distance is 3 and if the center is minus 3 comma 0, if we draw a circle that will be something like that.
Now second modulus of z plus 1, its minimum and maximum values are that is also representing a cycle whose center is minus 1 comma 0, minus 1 comma 0 somewhere here approximately. Now its minimum and maximum value, now you can look this, this center is minus 1 comma 0 is already lying inside this circle. So its minimum distance with this circle is 0 and its maximum distance from this circle, this distance is 2 and this distance is 3. So we can say minimum value of modulus z plus 1 is equal to 0 because its center is already lying inside this circle and maximum value of modulus of z plus 1 that is equal to this distance is 2 plus 3 that is 5. So minimum and maximum value of modulus of z plus 1 are 0 and 5 but maximum is 5, minimum is 0 and according to given option, first option, option number 1 is correct and that is 5 comma 0, maximum value 5, minimum value is 0. Question number 68, in this question it is given that the first term of an infinite GP is 2 sin A and its sum is 1 and set of values of A which lies in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Now the infinite GP's first term is 2 sin A. Suppose first of all let the common ratio of this GP is R. And we know that sum of infinite GP is as equal to A upon 1 minus R. Sum is given 1, we have put 1 here. First term is given 2 sin A. Common ratio is R. Now from this equation 1 minus R is equal to 2 sin A. If we find from this equation R, so we can say R is equal to 1 minus 2 sin A. Now we know that the sum of infinite GP is S equal to A upon 1 minus R and common ratio for infinite GP should be lying between minus 1 to 1. R should be lying between minus 1 to 1. Now if we put R equal to 1 minus 2 sin A here, that is minus 1 to 1. 1 is shifted here minus 2, 1 is shifted here that is minus 2, minus 2 sin A, this will become 0. So we can say if we cancel out, this will become 1, sin will change, sin A will be lying between 0 to 1. So we can say sin A is lying between 0 to 1, it means angle A must be lying between 0 to pi. And if we draw its graph also, sin curve, that is something like that. Now GP's common ratio is R, R is minus 1 to 1 and we know that R is also not equal to 0 since this is a common ratio and R is equal to 1 minus 2 sin A, it means this is not equal to 0. So we can say sin A is not equal to 1 by 2 or we can say A is not equal to pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So in the interval of 0 to 2 pi, A must be lying between something like that 0 to pi minus of pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. Because already we have given that A belongs to 0 to pi and value is lying between 0 to 1 and A is not equal, sin A is not equal to half. So A should not be equal to pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So A belongs to 0 to pi except pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 and according to given option, option number 4 is correct.